This is Price Boss, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to scrape Craigslist. Really simple. Just like Zillow, just like Landwatch, all you have to do is go into Craigslist, filter the leads for just the ones that you want. You're going to copy and paste them into Price Boss and hit the compute button. That's pretty much all there is to it. So let's take a look and see how it's done. So I'm going to open up. Craigslist, but actually I'm just going to search in Google. It's usually the best way to figure out which Craigslist market has the most ads. So we've been using Clickitat County, Washington. Let's stick with that. So I'm going to write Clickitat County, Washington, oops, and Acres Craigslist. And I see that Portland seems to be the best one to use. So I'm going to go and click on that. And what I'm going to do, just to get this filtered out to just to the ones that I think are going to be really uh, accurate and contribute to my analysis, I'm going to click on housing type and I'm going to select land because I only want to see land. And I could do Goldendale, I, I could do some specific uh, towns or cities within the county if I know it, but right now I'm just going to try to just go with the county itself and see what happens. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six leads. Uh, and that's probably fine for now. So make sure you're in list. Notice here I can be in list, I can be in thumbnail, I can be in gallery, maybe I can be in the map. But really what I want to be in for this purpose is I want to be in list. And I'm going to put my, my cursor here above the star and I'm gonna hold down the left button of my cursor as I just drag it across and pull in these leads. You'll notice that usually it'll highlight over here and see it in map view as well. Don't worry about that, not a problem. Price Boss can figure it out. So I'm just gonna right click and hit copy. Come over to Price Boss. Click in my yellow tab and don't disregard that little pop-up. And I'm gonna hit paste. And there it is. Now all I have to do is hit the compute button. Sometimes you get lots and lots of ads. It depends on the county. Um, one thing I want to point out to you here is that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six ads down here, but I've only got four that have come up in my analysis. You can see that right here. But that's because records with price and size. So if in the ad it doesn't have both a price and a size, it's not going to show up over here. Um, and that often happens if uh, somebody puts an ad up on Craigslist and they're doing owner financing or for whatever reason, it doesn't have all those, those ads. Now, there's not a lot here, so maybe I'll just go in and check it out. This one looks quite expensive, actually, 220000 So let's click on it. I can click on it and open up the ad. So it's 220000 And let's see if it does have anything around size. Um, sometimes they, they write it out and there's no numbers. So it says just remote enough 78 plus acres. So if I wanted to, I could go in and, and I could manually add this back in and put 220,000 and 78 acres. Let's do it. Why not? So I'm just going to put, uh, I'm just going to actually copy this whole thing down. And over here, I'm going to put 220, whoops. And we'll just put 78 acres. And there it is. Uh, let's see what else we know about this. The post date was um, posted six days ago. Today is the 9th. So that means it was posted on January 3rd. So same as here. And I could, I, I could go and do all of it if I wanted to. Um, what was it I want to see here? The location is just says click attack. But maybe I can get something more accurate down here. Um, no, don't see, uh, don't see anything more accurate than that off the top of my head. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put the click, you know, I'll leave it blank. Um, but what I can do is I can just copy and, um, paste in the link at least. Okay. So there we go. So that would be one, and let's see, this one, 179, I can see it already, it's 179, and I've got that one here, recreational land, um, let's see if this one is in there, 48,000, 
and I have it. So 48,000 is there. And let's go down to the next one. 32,000 is there. So that one's not missing. 165,000, I can see it there. What's this one down here? So 125,000, and this is in, we'll say Lyle. And let's see if we have anything on the size. Well, there it is, lot size, 91,912 square feet. And that's why it wasn't coming in, because it's just the way they had put it in here, uh, the tool couldn't quite figure it out. But that's okay, we can still do it. So I'm going to put it in, we'll say copy. And what was the price again? 125,000. And it says the, let's see, 91,912. So I'm gonna come over here and in square feet, 91,912. And then to get the acres, we just use the formula to convert square feet into acreage, which would be this, this number divided by 43,560. And that should give me the acreage. I just need to make sure it's like, there it is. Okay. So we've got 211, or excuse me, 2.11 acres uh, for 125,000. All right. The date of this ad again, six days ago. So that's January 3rd. And this was in Lyle. And again, I can go down and, uh, I can either just take the top line or I'm just gonna take the link and put it in here so I've got it. And there it is. So now I've got my six Craigslist ads. And when I aggregate this with all of what I've pulled from Zillow or Landwatch, it'll contribute and help me to come up with some very accurate pricing. Now we've gotta come up with a subdivision and it's the same thing again. You can click on these ads. If, you get, if, if the word subdivision shows up, this will turn green. But if not, then uh, we can just try to figure it out. Um, I don't really know this one, but you know, maybe for now what I'll just do is use the nearest town, which is fine. And I'm just gonna click on this one one more time just to see if there's any information that's gonna help me understand where this is. So one thing I can do is I can just click on the Google map here and it's in 126 Bumpy Road, Klickitat, Oregon. So I guess Klickitat is the name of the town as well. So that's where it is. So let's put, oops, Klickitat. And I'm gonna put it over here as well. And that's it, we've just scraped uh, Craigslist. And if, you know, like I said, in some counties, you could have 30 uh, listings within Craigslist uh, and you, you can use them all in the analysis. <laughs>